So far you have seen how to set up Playwright API testing framework and also you have seen how to create post API request by using static API request body and also we have seen how to create the post API request by using the JSON file. In this Playwright API testing tutorial, so we are going to see how to create create post API request by using the dynamic API request body. So before we get into this session guys, so you need to install two plugins. One is you need to install the faker-js and second one is you need to install the Luxon. So simply you can open the command prompt and you can enter the npm install at the rate faker-js slash faker-save-dev. So you can use this particular command to install the faker-js plugin. So we are using this particular plugin to generate the test data. For example, first name, last name, some random numbers. So those kind of things can be generated by using the Faker.js plugin. And you need to install the second plugin called Luxon. So you can use npm followed by that install hyphen hyphen save and Luxon. So once the installation is completed guys, so this particular Luxon plugin we are using to generate the custom dates. So you can get all these commands in my GitHub repository also. So you can go to the readme section here. So here I have listed the command name. The first one is uh, faker-js plugin and second plugin is Luxon to generate the custom dates. Once the plugin installation is done guys, now let's go to the VS code now. So we are going to create the post API request by using the dynamic API request body. So I will create a quickly one spec file. Simply I will copy the post API request one spec file and I'll paste it here. Then I will rename the file name as post API request three and then I'll say dot spec dot js. So that's it. So here I will update the test name as create post API request using dynamic request body. So that's it guys. So as I said, to generate the test data, it can be first name, last name, some random numbers. So we have to install the faker-js plugin. To use the functions from the faker-js, so firstly we have to import the faker-js library in the current javascript class so that's the reason here i'll say import and here i will add the object from and in the single quotation i will say at the rate faker hyphen js slash faker then i will assign back to the one object called faker so that's it guys in the similar way so we can include the luxon model in the current javascript javascript file to include the Luxon model, so simply you can use the require and inside the require, so you can specify the just Luxon and you can assign back to the one constant way, constant object called date time. So here I'll say date time. That's it guys. So let me summarize what exactly this test is doing right now. So we will update this particular test and we will make working this test. And also we are going to see how we can create the post API request by using the dynamic request body. And if you see here in the line number 212, line number 22, we have added the API request body. That is a hard coded value what we have added it, right? So we want to pass the dynamic data for the first name, last name, total price, and also we are going to pass the check-in date and check-out date. So all these values will be passing the dynamic values, right? So by using the these two plugins, we are going to generate the some dynamic data. By using those data, we can pass on to the our API request body. That's it, guys. And after that, if you look at in the down, so we are validating the status code and we are validating the API response and also we are validating the nested JSON objects. So we'll come back, we will come back to this particular validation bit later guys. So now let's generate the 
test data so firstly we will generate the first name last name total price and after that we will generate the check-in date and check-out date by using the Luxon plugin so so let's generate the first name so as I said by using the faker hyphen JS plugin we can generate the any random data or dynamic data so simply you can use the faker dot person and here you can simply say that first name so this will returns me the first name so any random data it will be it is going to return us then i'm assigning back to the one constant variable called first name in the similar way i will create the last name and also we are going to create the so here i'll say variable name as last name and here i'm calling to the method called dot last name that's it guys now let's generate the total price so you can generate the any random number so here i'm just specifying the faker dot number so here i'll say just int and inside the int i'm passing some data means i'm entering some random number so my value will be within the thousand so what it is going to return us so i will assign back to the constant variable as total price so that's it guys so if you want the bigger value you can specify 10,000 so that this particular method is going to return as the integer number within the 10,000 value so now we are able to generate the first name last name and total price right and also we have to generate the check-in date and check out date by using the Luxon library right so here what I will do is simply I will use the date time dot here I'm calling to the one method called now so by using this now I can get the today's date and also I need to format to the I need to format the today's date into the like uh, month date and year like that right so here we are, we are going to pass the format also to format so by using this method we can pass the in which format data we want it so I want it firstly year and then month and after that we are we need the date so this will returns me the one date that is the today's date in this particular format then I will assign back to the constant variable called check-in date that's it guys so this is a check-in date and also we have to generate the one more called checkout date also right so I will take the same data sorry here I'll say here I'll just simply copy the same statement I and I will update the variable name as checkout and after adding the today's date right say for example I want to add a plus five days to the current date say for example today date is sixth I want to add the plus five days it will be 11 right so that's the reason firstly I will get the today's date by using date time dot now and then here I'm calling to the method called plus and inside the plus simply here we have to pass the object how many days you want to add it plus means it is an addition so that's the reason here we have to pass the number of days you want to add it so let's add it 5 so today date is five, 6 so the check-in date will be 6 and we will get the checkout date as the 11 that's it guys now we are able to generate the all the test data first name last name total price check-in date checkout date now let us use all this data inside the our API request so here I will pass the first name and then I will pass the last name and then we will pass the total price and let's pass the check-in date inside the booking dates and then finally we will pass the checkout date that's it guys so this is all about the test data generation how we can use it in the api request body and if i come down guys so after validating the status code we are also validating the api response also right so here also we have to pass the appropriate expected value so firstly here value here we are validating the first name so i will pass the first name and also i will pass the last name and then i will pass the check-in date 
and I will pass the checkout date. So that's it guys, we are done with creating the script. So let me summarize what we have done so far. So firstly, we have installed two plugin called one is faker-js and the second one is Luxon. Faker-js is for creating the test data and Luxon is for creating the custom dates. By using those plugins, we are generating the test data. So this is a dynamic test data. So every time it will, it is going to generate the different first name, last name and the number, check-in date and check-out date, all those things based on the condition what we have added. And by using all this test data, so here we are creating the post API request and inside this data object, we are passing all the data, dynamic data in the API request. And finally, we are validating the status code and API response. That's it guys. Now let's run the test. So it is taking a little bit of time. Let's wait for the some time. So if you look at this particular test guys, our test is working perfectly fine. And if you see the output, our test is getting passed. So this is how you can create the post API request using dynamic API request body.